Hello everyone, it's Matt here from Prepared UK and today I'm bringing you my unboxing video of the new for spring 2017 Arcturix Breeze 25 litre day pack. It comes in this quite attractive box. I've always appreciated Arcturix's attention to detail when it comes to packaging. Um, they don't use excessive packaging like some companies do. And they do take the time in what they send you to present your invoice, I hope it's my invoice, and possibly a little catalogue as well in this quite attractive black envelope. So when something arrives from Arcturix, you really think that you have made a, a good quality investment. Return slip, compliment slip, with warranty and repairs, and a quite attractive looking Arcturix car sticker. But this is what the focus of today's review is about. The Breeze 25 litre day pack. This one's in black. And my initial impressions are, it looks in the bottom half to be a lot like the old North Face Fulcrum. Sorry, in the bottom half it looks like the old Carrymore Hot Ice. But in the top half, much more, as I said, like the North Face Fulcrum. The difference being that the Fulcrum came in at 35 litres and this is 10 litres lighter at 25. What it does have in common is the reverse opening, which gives the front of the rucksack this really clean look. There's no fast X buckles, there's no reverse lifting top pocket, because what Arcturix have done is put in this horseshoe zip to allow entrance to the single main compartment. It doesn't go, for those of you who know Arcturix's products, they have the things like the, the card, 30 is it, or 35, 30, 30 litre rucksack, where the zip comes all the way down so that the whole of the front panel opens up and gives you access to all of the inside. And when I was choosing a 25 litre day pack, a small bag for fast and light kind of journeys or walking on trails where safety is not much of an issue as if you were going off trail, one of the packs I looked at was Arcturix's Sebring, which has the full horseshoe zip to enable you to open the whole bag straight out. This doesn't have that. This has this quite very functional and quite attractive double zip with a storm flap. Just like I say, it gives you this very clean looking front. Let's just go over the rucksack from top to bottom. The bottom has the harder material to protect it from wear and it is a 60 denier R on the outside which means it's going to be not waterproof but it's going to be very water resistant, very water repellent and with it having such a smooth shape it's going to be very wind uh, shedding as well. It's also going to be very hard wearing and quite easy to clean. On the bottom of the rucksack, you've got this little attachment loop here, which for me, for a night walk, I would probably attach a, a little red LED light there so that people behind me were aware of my location. It has a mountain tool loop here, and they've called it a mountain tool loop rather than calling it an ice, an ice apps loop. I'm not sure what applications a 25 litre pack would have um, for a use with where you would carry a single ice axe. Uh, a pack of 25 litres, I don't think Dave, my walking buddy, 
uh, could even fit his duvet jacket in here, but nevertheless. Ice axe loop with the head at the bottom comes up, has these uh, elasticated attachment points here with the loop at the top uh, to hold it in place and stop it from swaying about, which is very good. The familiar Arcturix's double line of uh, attachment loops here that don't have the very familiar Arcturix zigzag shock cord so that you can stow things on the outside but the facility is there for you to um, either do that yourself or to add things to the outside you could uh, get a helmet net uh, in fact clip a helmet to the outside the, the options are there for you I really like these uh, the elasticated attachment points for either your walking poles or uh, for either your walking poles uh, or your ice axe um, have these really neat push button cord cinches no pulling, no battling with them they're going to last a long time without wearing good solid hook pinch and pull to do them up the idea being of course your walking pole would go through here and into this pocket at the bottom. The pockets at the bottom are really smart as well. A lot of uh, rucksack manufacturers now are trying to find ways of keeping the water bottle or the bottom pouch discreet and as tight and out of the way as possible um, when it's not in use so it doesn't look like it's got these two big pouches sticking out at the bottom but if you were to regularly keep in some packs a Nalgene bottle in there the pouch would take the shape of the Nalgene bottle and then not relax when it comes out what Arcturix have done here is they've put this really strong elasticated gusseted mesh section here which has the action of pulling the pouch tight against the pack. It has on the outside a top pocket, quite a cavernous top pocket actually. You can see there there's a good couple of litres of, of, of top pocket space there that's uh, going to be really really useful for keeping sunglasses, hats, gloves, uh, bits of bobs in there and has for those of us that are not great with keys, a little clip to keep your keys, whistle, Swiss Army knife, pocket tool, safe so that you don't lose it. The inside the inside has a zip pocket for your valuables, head torch, uh, compass, etc. There, and also has which might be quite difficult for me to show you. I'll just try. Okay, it has an internal pocket for a hydration pouch or a laptop. It has the little clip so that you can keep your hydration pouch hung so that it doesn't fall down into the bottom. And it has, under the Velcro, here, a hard plastic back support, which is fastened with two Velcro loops to hold it in place, which means it is, let me just check, it is removable. So if you wanted to take it on holiday, uh, you could remove the back panel, scrunch it up really small so that you can stow it away uh, in a suitcase or a slightly larger bag so that you can use it for your day pack when you're travelling. The main compartment itself is your traditional single compartment uh, rucksack and is, fingers crossed anyway, certainly going to be big enough for everything that you want to carry for a day's walking, 
from probably at the end of spring through to the middle of the end of autumn, depending on what altitude you're walking at. It has, of course, fast X side compression straps so that you can keep it as small as you need to when you've got it loaded. There are drinking tube uh, elastics for holding the drinking tubes down. And it has a sternum strap which is adjust adjustable by removing the hook and then picking it so that you can have the sternum strap on your sternum rather than where you don't want it down by your diaphragm or where you don't want it up by your collarbones. It has a grab loop so that if you were to use it as a commuting bag, and I'm going to talk in a minute about using it as a commuting bag, uh, you can just carry it on and off the train, on and off the bus, pull it out of the to or the footman of your car. One of the features that I do particularly like on this pad are the ventilated back panel. The back panel is foam, so it's going to be incredibly comfortable, and it has got this honeycomb of holes in it with a mesh over the top so that it will breathe, which will be hopefully, as it's probably designed primarily for warmer weather use, it's going to cut down uh, having a sway back. It has a waist belt which stows away with these quite tidy uh, elasticated loops and the belt loop clips, uh, fastens onto this buckle here so you could, if you chose to, remove it. Yes, the, be the buckle, uh, sorry, the belt is a narrow 20, 23, 25 millimeter waist belt, but with a pack of this size, you're not going to be carrying the kind of weight where you would be feeling it was essential to distribute that weight onto your hips and where a wider padded waist belt would be more appropriate. If you just wanted to, have to buy one bag that you were going to use everywhere, then this would certainly not only look the part, but certainly perform incredibly well um, outdoors uh, in the wild, but also has been designed cleverly so that you can use it as a commuter bag. And because it hasn't got these buckles on here, it doesn't look like a dedicated outdoor type of rucksack. It just looks like a really, really nice rucksack. I have here a laptop uh, in its protective case. And if Arcturix are correct, they have manufactured the hydration pocket, which incidentally has an outlet for your drinking tube uh, in the middle of the back. Then you should be able to get into the hydration pocket a packed laptop so that it does double as a decent commuting bag as well. The problem I've got is the neoprene on the laptop case and the zip. There you go, that's caught, there we go, and it, yeah, there you are. In it goes. No problem, carry your rucksack to work, sorry, carry your laptop to work, in your rucksack, carry it home again afterwards, no problem. The laptop, the pouch, now I've got it in, doesn't go all the way to the bottom, which I think probably is a good thing, because it gives you the opportunity to keep a rain jacket or something in the bottom so that if you put your rucksack down it's got a little bit of protection from this edge of your laptop. One thing I think they could have done to neaten it up a bit and make it a little bit more commuter friendly is these cord cinches here don't come off. 
because what the hot strips have done is they've used these heat moulded press fit shock cord retainers on the end which means you can't take it off and I think if it had been me I would have possibly designed it so they were removable and then you wouldn't have had these these would have meant in town you would have had a really sleek almost zero profile these aren't really going to snag, there are the uh, wind-ups uh, to keep them out of the way but they are, they, there isn't an excessive amount of tail so they're not really going to cause you much problem uh, sagging especially if you've got some stuff in the bag the only bits that protrude and potentially could be an inconvenience are these now I often think that you can't really tell what a rucksack is going to perform like like this, what you have to do is you have to fill it up so that you can see what the profile of the bag is when it's full and that will give us the opportunity to look at it and see how it would sit on our backs when it's got some weight in it. So just give me a minute and I'll fill it up and then we can see what it looks like when it's full. Okay, and here we are with it packed. It is quite a rectangular shape when it's, when it's got some stuff in it. The, uh, I think, rather than it having, there's quite a few doiter sacks that tend to be wider at the top where your shoulders are and then they tend to taper in um, towards the, 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 the narrow at the bottom of your back so that the, the rucksack is kind of almost part of your silhouette. And this holds that much more traditional kind of rectangular shape and rectangular, uh, uh, quite, yeah, quite angular, quite bold and angular and oh, really, I like that that's, that's a good looking, that's a good looking bag and it's not too big either um, obviously being 25 litres that kind of gives us an indication of what its capacity is but it doesn't seem to be, it doesn't seem to have a, a, a massive unnecessary volume. It's a, what I'm probably trying to say is, is the proportions of the bag are really quite nice. Uh, and with the proportions of the bag being quite nice, that means it's, it's quite an attractive thing to own. And now it's full, you can really appreciate the sleekness of having that reverse lid without the traditional top pocket with the two fast X buckles with the draw cord for the, um, the snow skirt and obviously a pack like this doesn't really warrant or need a snow skirt. What I'll do now is I'll uh, finish up with uh, a few shots of it on my back because I think that's probably the only thing that you would need to know or would be interested in seeing. Uh, to try and help you make your mind up if this is the if this is the pack that's going to meet your needs, um, uh, and if and yeah, and to help advise you uh, maybe towards uh, along the lines of a purchase. So again, just give me a minute, and I'll be back with the pack. Okay, and this is how the pack looks uh, when it's being worn. It does it sits really really comfortably. I'm six foot one. It's really comfortably just, just above my hips, which is exactly where I would want it. It's not too wide or too broad uh, across the shoulders. The fit of the straps feels really natural. And it really does contour really, really nicely uh, on my back. Um, that would be the, the rear profile. And the right profile is going to be the same as the left but it's not a really big chunky bag it does fit in really nicely but being 25 litres means that you can get enough in it to do you for a day's walking which is what I'll do I'll now pack it up realistically and do a part two video um, with everything in it that I would consider 
taking with me are a day's walking, probably on a track or trail, late spring through to autumn. Um, for commuting, obviously it would depend on what job you were doing as to how you would pack it. So there we have it. This has been Matt for Prepared UK with the Arterix Breeze 25 litre backpack, new for 2017. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.